Michael from MyRod.com. I have a question. How many times have you heard the phrase, you can only be original once? Probably a lot if you're a car person. Now, what's important, the important thing behind that phrase is the fact that factory original cars, cars that are still the way they rolled off the factory assembly line when they were born, are very, very rare. Now, 67 Mustang Fastbacks in their original condition are very rare too. The Fastback itself from 1967 is not rare. They made 71,000 of those cars. And they're still, because of the popularity of that car, thousands of them still survive, and it's not hard to find one. Now, finding one that is a true survivor, that is substantially the way it came from the factory and has not been restored, now that's a rare thing. Now, finding one of those that's also a GT model, that's something even much, much more rare. It would be a fraction of the entire population of those cars made and still surviving. I have one right here. It is a 1967 Mustang Fastback Factory GT. And it's substantially the way it came from the factory. It's unrestored. It's super well preserved. When you look at this car, you can tell that the paint and the interior and the engine bay and the trunk and the undercarriage they all tell the story. You can see that patina that only comes with decades. Preserved cars are really becoming all the more popular. They're finally getting the attention they deserve and the values are reflecting that. Okay, so I said this car is substantially original and it is. It's had a little paint work, uh, but most of the paint and all of the interior from the headliner to the carpet is completely original and the engine bay presents much like it did when it left the factory, as does the trunk and the undercarriage. So it's been very well preserved. There's been no attempt to restore this car. It just remains in fantastic condition for a 55-year-old Mustang. Just look at it. So what'd you think about the paint? Pretty impressive for original. You probably noticed that something was missing on this car and it's the rear volance, the GT volance where the tips come through the rear of the exhaust tips. Why is it missing? I don't know. There wasn't a good history handoff between the guy I got the car from uh, and the guy before him. So it's lost to history, but apparently they backed over something, panel got replaced, and that's the reason that some of the paint is not original on this car. Now the interior. I love looking at original interior, original paint cars. I just look and I like looking at the detailed items and the evidence of patina and wear on those items. Uh, 55 years ago, this car was built just like this. And over those 55 years, I would love to know who drove it. Where did they go? What kind of experiences were had in this car? You know, on some cars, you know who the owners were and you get that. But on this car, it's a, it's a mystery. Bottom line is, it's an original car and it's documented with the Marty Report. Now, let's talk about two really strange things about this car. It is a GT, clearly, according to the Marty Report. It's a 289 C code, two barrel GT. That's right. 67 is the only year that you can get a C code, two barrel, 289, and have a factory GT. It's a fact. Very rare, but it did exist. There's also another oddball thing about this car. It's a three-speed manual, not a four-speed. It's a three-speed manual. So not only did this car come with strange options in terms of how most GTs were equipped in 1967, it's a survivor, a high-quality survivor. So based on that, this is a super rare, super special car. Now, go to a car show in this car, any car show, all Mustangs, are classic cars with Mustangs sprinkled in, and I guarantee you, cars like this steal the show. 
the real car people will hover around this car and stare at it and study it. Why? Because you never, ever see cars like this. Restored cars are everywhere. Love restored cars. I'm impressed with restored cars, if they're quality cars. But this, uh, this is what was built by the factory. It still has its soul. Super cool. Let's, t let's take a look at the engine bay. Okay, so here's the engine bay. Is it impressive? Well, it depends. If you're talking about compared to a restored show quality engine bay, no. But if you're talking about original, then yeah, it is absolutely super impressive. You've got the factory blue steel grill here that's hard to replicate, and you won't get an MCA gold car unless you replicate that exactly. And you've got, for the most part, the exact type components it would have come with from the factory. You've got the original engine, original paint on the valve covers and air cleaner, original decals, original black spray on the inner fenders, original white paint. Yeah, it's, it's very impressive. In fact, it's super impressive. We're talking about a 55-year-old engine bay. Some of them are just nasty, but this is really, really quite nice. Well, let's start it up. Okay, pump the gas. There it is. Just a smooth 289. Let's go drive it. Well, here we go on our test drive. The car feels good. It really does. It feels tight. Shifter feels tight. Clutch feels good. Brakes feel good. It just does everything it's supposed to do. You know, I know this thing's got to look super cherry going down the road, and then anybody that's knowledgeable, if they walk up on it and realize what they're looking at, when, they're, when they determine they're looking at an original car, they're going to be super duper impressed. You know, this car has a very stock type exhaust system, so it doesn't have that good rumble that you could get with uh, good mufflers, flow masters, or something like that could easily have that, but it's kind of the period sound, you know. You didn't have those real aggressive exhaust notes back in the day with factory exhaust. Okay. Almost out of the neighborhood. can tell this is a tight car. If it hits a bump, it all moves in one piece. I love it. This is great. Nice, smooth acceleration. This is second. There's third. And you're done. And she's running highway speeds right here. No problem. Very nice. Smooth power from the sweetheart little 289. Okay, so we're going down the road at 60 miles per hour, and it's just traveling beautifully. It's going straight as an arrow. Super nice, super tight car. I think everything's alive, even the original radio. That's 888-763-005. Original radio, overhead console light still works. Horn works. It's alive. You know, the odometer is showing 52,581 miles. Completely believable. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't born with this car. I don't know much about the history, but when you look at it and the way it's preserved, it's completely believable. So what's the verdict? The verdict is this is a really good car. We put it through a major service because it sat for years and years without being driven. And as far as I can tell, this thing's a good to go car. Get in and drive. Very, very impressive. You can tell it was a good car when it was parked. But you know, you can't leave these cars sitting for any length of time at all. It's the worst possible thing for them. And as far as we know, uh, everything's been addressed to make it really a ready-to-go, reliable car. 
everything, all, of course, a lot of the wear items have been replaced, but the, it's the original drivetrain. As far as I know, it's the motor's never been into. I just don't really know the history of this car, but I can tell it's got good compression, the way it starts, uh, the way it pulls uh, in every single gear. This motor's alive. It's just the kind of car, if you're, if you're like me and you love the survivors, the all-original, well-preserved cars, it's the kind of car that you can fall deeply in love with. So hard to replicate or duplicate, no matter what the money. They just don't exist. Well, I hope you like the test drive. If you like the test drive, click like, and more importantly, subscribe. Ring the bell. That helps, helps my son and I make videos. Go to our website, myrod.com, and you'll get to see a lot of cool cars. We're treasure hunters, so we only buy what really impresses us. So we buy very few cars. We're not a big, big box store. We only have the good stuff. Come by. Adios.